while royal observers remain divided over whether the Queen's death will mend the bridge between King Charles and Prince Harry, or merely carve more space between the father and son, it appears the new monarch has extended a subtle olive branch to the Duke of Sussex amid their fiery feud. In footage released of King Charles' first weekly audience with British Prime Minister Liz Truss, eagle-eyed royal fans noticed a portrait from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's 2018 wedding proudly displayed in the background, among other photos. The picture was taken by photographer Alexei Lubomirsky at Windsor Castle. It features the newly wedded couple surrounded by their family, including the late Queen and Prince Philip, the now King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla, the Prince and Princess of Wales and, Meghan's mother Doria Ragland. Prince William and Princess Catherine's two eldest children, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, also featured in the photo, with their youngest son Prince Louis too young to attend the nuptials at the time. The meeting between the two leaders comes soon after King Charles returned to London after he and Queen Camilla spent time in Scotland following the Queen's funeral. On Tuesday, Buckingham Palace confirmed the official date of the new sovereign's coronation, May 6, 2023. The symbolic ceremony will take place at Westminster Abbey, as per British royal tradition, just as Her Majesty's funeral did. The Archbishop of Canterbury Justin Welby, who delivered the heartfelt sermon at the Queen's funeral, will also conduct Charles' coronation service. The coronation will reflect the monarch's role today and look towards the future, while being rooted in long-standing traditions and pageantry, Buckingham Palace revealed in a statement. Watch, Queen Elizabeth talks about her 1953 coronation. Article continues after video as Charles III begins his kingly duties, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle remain in Montecito, California with their two kids, Archie and Lilibet. Just a few days ago, the Duke shared a rare update regarding his two kids while speaking to the winners of the Well Child Awards via video call. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex were originally supposed to attend the ceremony in person, but after news spread that his grandmother Queen Elizabeth's health had rapidly deteriorated, Prince Harry was forced to decline the invitation. The awards were established to celebrate ill children in the United States. During the call, Prince Harry talked to the four-year-old winner of the Inspirational Child Award, Henry Waynes, who spent the first 15 months of his life in hospital. You sound just like my son Archie, with that little squeaky voice. I love it, the royal told him. The young boy then tricked the Duke with a knock-knock joke and asked about his children. Archie is very, very busy. And Lily is learning to use her voice, which is great, Harry mused. The Duke also spoke to a girl named Isabel Delancey, who was recognized as the inspirational young person for children aged between 12 and 14. Isabel's assistant's dog in training also made an appearance in the video chat. I tell you what, we all need a dog that keeps us calm. I've got three in this house now. So, we basically have five children, Prince Harry revealed that I've got a black Labrador called Pula, a rescue beagle called Guy. And we got another rescue beagle called Mia Dot and between the three of them, they charge around chasing squirrels and causing all sorts of problems to us, every single day. But they are also emotional support dogs 100%, when they're behaving.